The deadly shooting happened just before 10 Friday night inside a home on Stockton Street, a few blocks from Richmond Highway. The victim was a 13-year-old boy who went to Binford Middle School. In an email to school board members obtained by CBS 6, Superintendent Jason Camera says he and other students were filming a video and using guns as props when one went off and killed him. A neighbor who didn't want to go on camera and ask their voice be changed says they didn't know something had happened until police came to their door. Shame and that something like that would happen. Authorities haven't said how the children got the weapon, but in statements offering condolences, both Mayor LeVar Stoney and cameras urged gun owners to properly secure their firearms. And while the 13-year-old hasn't been named, Stoney said his heart breaks for the Nash Mitchell family. Then later that night, less than a mile away on Halifax Avenue next to Oak Grove Playground, three RPS students were injured in another shooting. One was shot and two were grazed by bullets. Really awful evening for us in Richmond Public Schools. Fourth District School Board member Jonathan Young says in the short term, the school system will have to play the role of consoler and resources will be available at schools on Monday. First and foremost, our responsibility relates to our students' welfare and of course, in addition to their physical welfare, it's their social emotional welfare. But long term, Young says he's calling on his colleagues on the board to take a stronger discipline approach to violence in schools. We need to stop tolerating the intolerable. We need to acknowledge that what we are permitting to happen in our schools manifests in the community. Meanwhile, the Stockton neighbor added when learning about the Halifax shooting that there are too many guns on the streets with too many people willing to use them to settle disputes. It's not like a video game where you, you know, you can get up and bounce back and okay, let's do it again. You know, it's, it's final, it's permanent. And authorities say they're not looking for any suspects in the Stockton shooting, but they are asking anyone with information in the Halifax shooting to please come forward with information. In Richmond, Cameron Thompson, CBS 6 News.